Okay, we need to talk about how many fucking badasses are being reported over in Ukraine, okay? We've been getting reports of some uh, legit badasses coming out of Ukraine, and we're gonna go over some of them. And, and some of them are more likely than you would expect, or less likely than you would expect. More likely? I don't know. Some of them are people you wouldn't expect, or you would, I don't know. Welcome to Capital uh, Anyway, uh, we got a few videos to go over, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and, thank you for that. We're gonna start with this one. This is a video from The Guardian. Uh, it is captioned, Go fuck yourself. Ukrainian soldiers on Snake Island tell Russian ship before being killed. So basically, a bunch of Ukrainian soldiers were uh, stationed on an island. A big Russian warship pulled up and contacted them and said, Surrender. This is a Russian warship. Surrender or we will fire. And they responded, Russian warship, go fuck yourself, and then died. Uh, because they're badasses. So we're going to go ahead and um, give that a listen. Literally, the most legendary last words of all time. They might be alive. I hope they're alive, okay? Uh, okay, on top of that, we've got more shit to look at, uh, because the, the we've just had an enormous amount of badasses come out of this, just people that need to be remembered and deserve to have videos made about them, uh, pointing out how fucking cool they are. Uh, so that's, that's what this segment is going to be. That's what this video is. This is the, hey, look how cool these people are segment, because I'm gonna be real, if I died doing something like this, I really hope someone out there did a segment, uh, talking about how fucking cool I was. Uh, and how cool uh, I was as I died, because that, that would be a pretty cool way to be remembered. Anyway, here we have Hikensky Bridge was blown up by Ukrainian Marine engineer Vitaly Skakun. A Russian column was nearing Kiev, uh, and there was no way to detonate the bridge remotely. K Skakun radioed his unit and told them he would do it manually, saying goodbye. Absolute hero. Basically, there was a big Russian tank column coming towards the city. This bridge uh, being blown out would really slow down that Russian column getting to the city. And so blowing it up was a pretty big deal. Yeah, so this guy, absolute hero. Look at him. This kid did not listen. This is somebody who was against his will, forcibly tossed by circumstance into becoming a hero, into becoming a martyr for his country. This kid should be going to school, hanging out with friends. This kid should be playing Elden Ring right now, is what this kid should be doing. And instead, because some fucking whack job named, named Putin has decided that he needs to, in what I can only describe as motivations akin to that of Donald Trump's Make America Great Again, um trying to rebuild the glory days of the USSR, uh, uh, just sending him, uh, sending people off to fight, and he has to fight to defend his country from an invasion. Then we got a tweet from uh, Dean Norris, who played Hank in Breaking Bad, says, glad the trolls aren't out here telling Zelensky to stick to acting. At Zelensky, uh, UA, is a badass. For those of you guys that don't know, Zelensky, the president of Ukraine, was an actor and comedian in Ukraine who actually pl pl played the president of Ukraine on TV before actually getting elected to be president. And um, to give you an idea of how much of an awesome fucking guy he is and how absolutely correct, uh, also, yes, the the for those who don't know, Dean Norris is the guy from the sus emote in my chat. So if you type the sus emote, it's this guy. Yes, this is the guy tweeting. Um, anyway, Zelensky refuses U.S. offer to evacuate, saying, I need ammunition, not a ride. Uh, to be more specific, he said, I need anti-tank ammunition, not a ride, because uh, he needs to take out tanks. But yeah, he's a fucking badass. He has refused to leave the capital, which is the pinpoint of the most attack. The, uh, the city that he is in is currently under siege. The U.S. has offered him a safe uh, uh, evacuation out of the country uh, to avoid capture or assassination or execution, and he has denied it. He and most of the politicians there, including the mayor, um, have all gotten, have all armed themselves 
and have refused to leave the city. They will go down with the ship, so to speak. Let's go ahead and watch the video. I believe it is captioned in English. Good morning, Ukrainians. Currently, there are a lot of games appearing on the internet, like that I am asking our army to put down arms and evacuate. So I am here. We are not putting down arms. We will be defending our country because our weapon is truth. And our truth is that this is our land, our country, our children, and we will defend all of this. That is it. That is all I wanted to tell you. Glory to Ukraine. Hell yeah. He's so good at giving speeches. He is, yeah. Um, his social media presence is also very much uh, appreciated. It is just after um, 3 a.m. Having... Being uh, in wartime and having a a president of a, of a country that is that is you could consider the good guys to be a social media president, so to say, someone who's on Twitter who is filming videos on their phone to post online for their people and the other the world to see, um, it is very very comforting and uh, just a good thing to have. It, it's something that um, I, I think it's actually a a ball or not a ball a point that the Ukrainians have on their side that. Um, uh, uh, a lot of people haven't considered. I'm also. I also want to show this video. This is some uh, Ukrainian soldiers who sound like a bunch of like 19 year olds who are probably just like who probably just got conscripted to fight because they have to. Who captured this um, uh, uh, Russian soldier? And at first they don't know what this Russian soldier's rank is. I think they know he's like kind of high ranking, but they don't know yet. And they're asking him, "What's your rank? What's your rank?" Then they notice his his arm patch and they rip it off and they show it to the camera and they realize he's a major. You hear one of them scream. He's a major. You'll, you'll hear it when they scream when the guy screams and they all start screaming. He's a major because they captured a, a pretty high, uh, a, a high ranking um, enemy combatant. And they're like pretty excited about it because they're all fucking kids. They should be screaming about their fucking loot drop. They just got in, in, in a wow dungeon, not about the fucking enemy combatant they just captured. Fuck you, Putin. Передай привет Україні, блядь. Слава Україні, Україні. Слава Україні. Кричи, сука, тварь. Я не знаю, сколько. Ти подиви, що це, сука? Майор йобаний нахуй. Майор нахуй. That's they realize he's a major and they start yelling. Um yeah, uh, so that's <laughs> they, they don't kill him or anything. There's another video of them putting a coat on him and putting a cigarette in his mouth. Um and like lighting a cigarette for him and like ask him are you uk man you doing all right and he's like yeah, i'm all right like they aren't they don't seem to hurt him he's got some blood on him like he might have gotten like punched or something um like he's got some blood like around here like a few droplets of it but he seems mostly like disoriented and scared more so than like hurt and it uh, doesn't seem like they're going to kill him so um that's good to hear it seems like uh overall ukraine is engaged in 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 no war crimes from what we've seen we have yet to hear reports of any war crimes, and yet we have seen videos of alleged war crimes on Russia's part. Uh, as I mentioned in a previous segment and many times in the stream, we've seen videos of Russian soldiers seeming to fight allegedly firing at um, Ukrainian hospitals. We've seen allegedly videos of Russian soldiers allegedly um, setting fire to allegedly subway stations and metro stations, which allegedly have civilians in them we've also allegedly seen videos of allegedly russian tanks rolling over allegedly ukrainian citizens driving in cars allegedly i'm adding allegedly here because i really don't know what kind of power the uh, russian government has to uh to me i i listen ac accuse me as a public figure accusing the russian government of war crimes might be more serious than i than i think so i'm being very careful here all right I'm just being careful, guys. I don't know my I don't know my rights in this respect. With that said, it seems like compared to Russia, as far as what we've seen, they ha uh, Ukraine Ukraine and its people and its soldiers have have engaged in um, much better uh, practice than the um, than the Russians have. Uh, granted, it's pretty hard not to when you're the ones being invaded and your enemy are the invaders. You know. The Russians are playing dirty, to say the least. Um, they have uh, been attacking things like power plants and dams. There is a sea dam that holds back water that uh, could potentially cause a tsunami in much of Kiev and kill many, many people. Allegedly hundreds of thousands of people. 
um, and they have apparently already attempted attacks on it, but they've been um, pushed back, though those attacks may be resumed in the future, and who knows if they could be successful. If they are successful, then hundreds of thousands of Ukrainian civilians in Kiev could die. So, um, it's scary. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate the support, and have a good one.